Policing here means controlling. Why is there need to regulate the language used by adolescents? This is what you will learn in this module. Language of adolescents and females are regarded weak and stigmatized. Now see how adolescents are grouped with female language. Both share the same type of language and that language is stigmatized that enjoys no respect or status in society. It is regarded a weak language. To avoid use of stigmatized language, some universities offer courses. Now this is policing of language. They want their adolescents should avoid the use of this stigmatized language. The courses which they offer, they aim at cleaning language from mall speak. Now, what is to be controlled? What is to be policed? What is to be regulated? The use of mall speak, mall shopping center. This is the language that is used at malls. Okay. Mall speak, what type of language is it? After that, we will see why do we need to control it and why courses are required to control it. Mall speak is imprecise. This is not precise. For example, the use of like. Again and again, the speaker uses like uh, 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 this kind of things. Uh, uh, you know, like uh, like shows the use of like shows that you are not exact. You are talking in approximate terms. Repetitive. This is common in spoken English, in spoken language. We repeat expressions again and again because this repetition is allowed in spoken language, but not in written language. This is also a feature of mall speak. Hedging, you know, you know means you are unsure that you know this thing or not. So you beg agreement from your addressee, from uh, the other person. So this is called hedging. You are cautious that, uh, you know, you want to uh, get agreement of the addressee that uh, as you also know this. Inarticulate. I mean. The use of I mean shows that you don't know anything. You don't mean anything. I mean, this, this never stands here for that uh, I really mean something. I mean shows that I don't mean anything. So such kind of features make mall speak a very weak, imprecise, inarticulate language that shouldn't be used by students for their academic purposes. So mall speak is used by both sexes. Boys and girls both use it. Then it is attached with girls. Why? Girls like more to visit malls than boys. This is the reason. They are found more in malls because they want to go such public places. Right? More importantly, mall speak is female speech because it is inarticulate and female speech, you know, from the beginning modules, that female speech is inarticulate. Women are less assertive. They can't talk straightforward. They are often indirect. This is inarticulation. So, this is feature of weak language. Now, this language that is mall speak, it is also inarticulate. So, because of this commonality, mall speak is attached with girls. Success in college, on the other hand, needs skills in 
argumentation. So, small speak does not enable students to express things in a forceful way. They can't express their ideas in a forceful way means they can't argue. For argumentation, they need support. They need to give reasons. These abilities are not produced by mall speak. So there is need to teach adolescents how to avoid this type of language. But some researchers do not accept the relationship between mall speak and gender like this. They say that the use of like and up talk, the a use of and a rising tone, rising tone comes at the end of the statement. This is called up talk. We have already discussed it. So we, when we use a rising tone with statement, it becomes a question. I need to help you. This is a question. Whereas its grammatical form is a declarative, a statement. So these two things may not be signs of inarticulation, imprecision, and insecure person, as is often understood, that a person who uses these words, so he is inarticulate, he is inexact. Okay. Like is also used as discourse linker. Discourse linker means to link your preceding and following talk as you use, for example, first, second, next, then. So these are discourse linkers. So like is also used for linking discourse. Similarly, if you see the use of up talk, this is not just an indication or sign of inarticulation as it, it is understood by some researchers. It can be used like a tag, don't you? Isn't it? These are tags. So if we use statements with rising tone, they can function like tags. Another speech style that is singled out for speaking courses is to avoid other oriented or collaborative style. So the first thing that is targeted in campuses is that uh, we should uh, police, we should regulate the language of the students so that they never use mall speak. And second, they never use other oriented language. Uh, you might remember from the early modules that we have said women uh, use language which shows care for others. This is according to their maternal nature caring nature. So, this should also be avoided by the adolescents. Let's see how this is a feature of women's language that stews for their maternal role, okay. But when poor class adolescents, poor class means poor social class, adolescents use this group oriented language, it shows lack of confidence and authority. This feature is gendered good for girls and women, but bad for boys and men. Because when you are other oriented, you never say, I say this, you say, we say this, or you, you say this, we all say this. So this is that kind of collaborative speech style. We conclude from this module, all speech styles used by adolescents are not gender. They can be used both by boys and girls. The, some, of, some of the features should be policed or regulated, but they too have their positive sides. The research findings which present them gendered, which present them as preferred by boys or girls should be reviewed. They shouldn't be accepted blindly.